Yo. What's up? We are back playing episode 2, Children of Arkham, by Telltale Series for Batman. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, I know. Beside that thank guy's... you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Will we now? Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's oh, dangerous. You're the one that cornered us. And I could have swore bats are more wild than cats. <laughs> or aren't we? <laughs> the chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I was tempted to throw this guy off. I was very tempted. It's <coughs> the Waynes. <coughs> well, this is the, the part Waynes I did not understand. Are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> how were how were Wayne's father and mother the biggest gangsters in Gotham? I don't understand this. You somebody better give me an explanation because I'm hella confused right now. <laughs> if they don't explain it, please write in the comments. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by... I forgot the last part there. Oh, this is where his, his parents died, eh? Yeah. This is the same alley. Wow. <coughs> I thought I might find you here. The news was I don't know how I upsetting, feel, to be honest. For both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public yeah, this and messy. Really, this can't be true. I don't know what to say to this. It doesn't help anything to bottle your feelings up. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their, you secrets. Kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. And try harder! I mean, Alfred, Alfred's a day one. Like, I mean, I don't think Alfred would have did anything bad. He'll grease Bruce. the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. He never told me. I'm the last one to find out. They worked together. Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. Yeah, Alfred's a I hope you can forgive me. It's okay, Alfred, yeah. 
You're a day one, man. You let me down. I'm not ready. We are still family. We How are still I family. This I against you. You're all I've got, Alfred. He, he knows. Thank you. We are Batman. I wouldn't he let knows you we're down Batman. again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. My father had enemies. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, that's a fair assumption. You don't think... You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. Okay, hold on. Okay, so... Obviously, he thinks that it's a simple mugging because Batman was a child. He wasn't aware of all these things that his parents were doing. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Oh, we're looking for details now. Really? After 20 years, are we really gonna find details now? Are you serious? Okay, this is a bit of a stretch. <laughs> this is a bit of a stretch now, really? After 20 years, now we're gonna try and see if we can find something? All the evidence is gone. <laughs> It's all gone. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. Ask him I only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. He was stabbed to death in prison? The guy who killed his parents? Yep, it was a cover-up. It was a cover-up. That's exactly what it was. It was a cover-up. He was stabbed to death in prison. Afterwards. Cover-up. And I could have swore it was like... Was it a dead boy? killed Batman's parents? I could have sworn it was Deadpool. He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. I could have sworn it was Deadpool or Wolverine. Countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Oh, look at Bruce, yo. You look so happy and whatnot. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Yes, we do, Bruce. Yes, we do. Oh, wow. Why didn't they take out Bruce? Take whatever you want. After Bruce, just business. He told me you had it coming. 
you. You don't have to do this. I got rude at the party. And he snatched her jewelry. Yeah. And and he was gonna kill Bruce. Bruce. And he was gonna. Are you all right? Wow. If he, had he Wasn't killed, killed Bruce, there'd be no Batman. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Wow. Falcone knows why they were assassinated. you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. No one needs to know. Don't worry. Relax, Harv. No one needs to know. We'll be out of here in no time. Oh, relax, he says. <laughs> As if Bruce Wayne won't turn every head in the building. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. It's personal, Harvey. But I, I should can't at least know what know I'm getting trust. myself I'm not into. Trusting you right now, this Harvey. is a personal matter, Harvey. Because you know Falcone personally, so fine. Don't trust fine. You, Harvey. Don't tell me. I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne, welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you need it. One hand washes the other, Lieutenant. Is that how it works? Of course. Otherwise, everyone has dirty hands. What he means is, we'll repay the favor in kind. I'm going to call you on that. Of course, man. We're billionaires. Come on. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. Oh, thanks, Sergeant. Oh, damn. I think she's feeling Keeping it. Keeping Falcone in the Checking infirmary. Him out too. <laughs> He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. We are lucky well, whoever to have he is behind Batman. that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. Say what you got to say. We'll be out here. Oh, it's not going to be pleasant. I'm going to make sure I'm rude, <laughs> rude to this guy. Yo, forget this guy, yo. Oh, wow. He's wearing a breathe mask? He's wearing an oxygen mask thing right now? Like, what the heck's going on? The hell? Did Bruce he Wayne? Did he that bad? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Oh, wow. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just Piss like every other guy. time they tried to put me away. You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. <laughs> this is nothing. 
You should have seen me before I became boss. I'd show up all beat to hell. Your father had sewn me back together. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. No, you weren't. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never yeah, forgotten. Yeah, two killings. You, know, just, you and just me, get... <coughs> we're practically family. Just get to the I point. Don't you figure Connie. that out by now. No, I don't I trust you right now, I tried to get through either. to you a dense party. But you, you showed me the door. How are we family? A closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me. We ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Yo, I don't know if I want to. Is he gonna die? Am I not gonna get answers? Hurt him? Ease his pain. If I ease his pain, he better get me answers. I would have turned into a ruthless son of a... Beep! Okay, let's go. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha... She had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. There's a kindness in you. You care about people. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> get, get to the point, dude. Like, I want answers. She was the only one that ever had a hold on your father. Until you hired an assassin to kill them both. But you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. Oh my gosh! He's got waiting a for you in hell. What the hell? What the hell? Why did she do the that? The bastard had to die. Why? Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Why did they no. do that? No! I was just about to find my answer, dude. Now we'll never know why or who killed his parents. What? That... What? That cop? What? That was an inside job. Somebody on the inside hired her to do that. She just came out of nowhere and said the bastard had to die? We are in deep shit. I bought us some time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. I don't, I don't know. I hardly well, recognize her since she burst him. in. She Darn was it. so different from the woman we met in the hall. I, I miss the replay. 
Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She was paid. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. She was paid. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Let's get the facts first. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. Yeah. Uh, the simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts. Like, Wait, how? Harvey why? knew Falcone. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. I'm Mr. guessing Attorney, Harvey has Falcone's something. lawyers are here. Oh, to do with Christ. this. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. <sighs> yeah, my girl, like, wh wh what were you thinking? Like, Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. She, she has something wrong with her veins. She, like, there's something wrong with her, her veins. veins. Still Maybe visible beneath her skin. Did something to her. Fresh injection site. Mm, that doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Okay, my Where girl. am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but oh, I got this awful feeling what, something what happened. terrible happened. You shot someone, my it's girl. not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did what? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. But then it just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to. No matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't. They were a anybody? million miles away. Did, did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. <laughs> I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice. It was saying something about revolution. Revolution? Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now. But they'll be back. <coughs> How is she? Did she tell you anything? No, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. Someone, Someone used her as a weapon, Harvey. They drugged her and sent her after Falcone. <sighs> hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Oh, the journalists. What, what are you doing here? Hi, what's up, my, my girl? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. 
Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. I no have comment. no comment at this time. Don't be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit at the Gazette for that story. Whatever's going on here, you can't afford to be associated with it. Then I also, we also can't afford to let, me to let the you. information out. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? <coughs> I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. No, I, I don't have time for this right now. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. I, I don't have time right now. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Yeah, this is too deep now. Before we needed it out, now we have to keep it on, on the wraps because we don't know exactly who's watching. And who's on the wraps. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed right? that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone that's in his sick bed, trip. surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. He said we were family. What did you learn from him? My parents were corrupt. He backed up what you told me. My father ran the city, with two of the worst men in it. If they were working together, it's strange Falcone had him killed. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Oh. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight yeah, they can them make for an army. you. Are on the lead. Considering the amount they stole from Falcone, they could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Say when you find a portion of a signal. Find her! Find her now! Send a strong message! Wait, what? Are they talking about Catwoman?
Right here. Bring me her head! Bring me her head? Ooh. Looks like Catwoman's in some trouble right now. Do we have to save Catwoman? No, she doesn't need saving. But she almost killed us one time. Oh, you go. Alright. Oswald. Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Oh, it's about to get heated now. Let's let's go. Oh, it's about to get heated. <laughs> green guy mini version of the hulk a bootleg version of the hulk like what the heck was that guy oh no we're we're we're, we're not playing around. we're taking these guys down simple you lot come check out this office where is he i don't know it's you can help <laughs> Let him go. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. But don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said, I said let, him go. let him go. You hear that, Roland? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little You'll respect crush for him. the bat. Think he underestimates you. Like, we were able to stop Superman. Is this about Falcone? Who are you crushing? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. But it's bloody well satisfying, isn't it? As you show a good face, I'm gonna let this one go. This guy. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. <coughs> what is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took that money from people that couldn't fight back. Here's the thing, I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. Oh, she was so, in cahoots with this guy, this Catwoman. Out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Who does this guy think? Selena. Yes, oh, beautiful name. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what the take you out right now. Ooh. <laughs> You're not getting me. Hey, oh, with the chair. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. What? 
Okay, why did they make that guy seem so strong? <sighs> Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Yo. I need to talk to you urgently. Stack. Deck 6 p.m. No capes. Selena. Bruce. Okay. Catwoman? Hey, Catwoman. Celine? <coughs> oh, tunes for drinking, dancing, and fighting. Not necessarily in that order. I think I'm gonna grab a drink. You lost? What you got, bartender? Like you Taurus, the wrong do you know bar? who I am? I mean, people get in here. <laughs> Flash money like that in here, you better be ready to fight. I got customers who knife him oh, for last. So you Marge. have no idea who we are. Hey, no idea who we are. It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low lying type. Nice to meet you. Who is right. this guy, huh? Yeah. Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. You're uh, shorter than I thought you would be. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. You didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Uh, now it's our mutual problem. Goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really Are you serious, my girl? You're a cat woman. The penguin. She's scared a penguin's going to take her out? It's not my fault that you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I can take him. I appreciate confidence in a man, but not stupidity. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? There has to be a reason. Someone like him. It's usually unfinished business. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? He'll find you. That's you I need choice. your help. You'd let people die? Uh, you'd Whatever let people die? When is planned, <coughs> innocent people will end up in the line of fire. Innocence. <coughs> not me. Bruce. Sweetie. The gallant knight thing. It really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Ooh. Damn. This isn't about Harvey. Sorry, why, why are we talking about Harvey? <laughs> Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. 
You and I. God, Bruce. I love how I love how straight to the point Bruce is. It's like, <laughs> how is this about Harvey again? <laughs> well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. You should leave this work to tell punch him. Ooh, ooh, let's go. It's game time, baby. Ooh. Damn. Nope. Wow. Yep. One, two. There we go. Yep. <laughs> this is sick. Who wants another one? Who wants another one? Ah, oh, it's done. You guys are done. Round two. Let's go. Ooh. People are still trying to fight. You got your ass whooped two times already. Oh, oh, jeez. Well, I, I, at least the last guy looks cool getting his ass beat up. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Ooh. You're still not done? Yo, this episode is lit right now. I like this. This is cool, man. X down. This isn't fair. You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. Come on, this way. Is she gonna kiss him? Sh don't do it, Bat. Don't do it. Like, I mean, ugh, I'm tempted. Okay, go for it. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'll take the rooftop. Let's just say, uh, I like to stir things up for the channel. <laughs> I never used to do this kind of stuff before. I was always, I was always the, uh, I was always the, always on the good side of things. But who cares? It's a video game. <laughs> Let's do everything and anything. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Honestly, though, only because I, I know how Catwoman is. Like, she, she did have a good side to her in the episodes. And I do strongly believe that Harvey has something to do with 
the corrupt side of this whole thing going on. This this whole thing that we have going on here. And honestly, I just want to mess around. To be honest with it. Processing it now. I want. Uh, I wonder what Harvey's going to say when they see Bruce. Bruce. I know you're a billionaire, bro. But come on, man. Found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill. The last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? Looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice... People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Okay, so... Okay, so... They're basically saying... If we use Batman... To intimidate the mayor, it might look bad because we didn't kill Falcone as Batman. We just put him up for a display. And people look up to us because of that. But it'll be harder to convince the mayor as Bruce as opposed to Batman. You know what? Like, I mean, we're Batman. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes we're soft, sometimes we're not soft. And we have to be serious. I'm, I'm, we're going as Batman. Going as Batman is the sure bet. Did you see her head? They look deformed. Batman has the public trust after taking down Falcone. Try not to throw it away by going overboard on Hill. Battering the mayor is not a good option, despite his more than checkered reputation. I got it, Alfred. I understand, Alfred. We got it. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. Deborah, you incompetent! Dent's up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes or I'm going to your pay. Who's that? Deborah! Deborah! Ooh, he... Is that you? Shut up and listen. No, no, you we need to talk. It's time we finally met. Oh! <coughs> Don't give the guy a heart attack now, Batman. He, he's an old man. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that low life. Do you hear me? Time to start talking. Is in my strong suit, Talk. I'm talking. You're not listening. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne, there's the real problem. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies. Nice try, but Bruce Wayne is clean. No one born into a pile of crap that deep can come out clean. I witnessed firsthand the atrocities of his family, and he's the one who profited. <gasps> wow. Security! Pick up okay. Him, damn it. Okay, we're we're, we're not going to hurt him, but we need answers. Ooh, save him. Don't let the man drop, Bruce. Holy. I've done nothing wrong. Why deal with I penguin? To you. Because I knew about Arkham Asylum and what was done to those poor people. <laughs> penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. 
Okay, but do you have proof? Something this big couldn't have been hidden. There'd be records. <sighs> With enough money, you can make anything or anyone disappear. <gasps> I didn't dare speak up. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. Oh, wow. <gasps> Tell it to the police. You can tell your story to the police. See what they think about it. If I had given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck at the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally. About damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here. Now we're out. <laughs> about your father it must be difficult to process i need to know what went on in arkham asylum uh, indeed I arkham asylum yo makes you want to play that game now hill seems to think he's safe but penguin's still out there whoa there's so much that so much that we're, uh, that we're missing. I wonder what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But... Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hills, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To be honest, Alfred, nothing can shock me anymore. Not when it comes to my parents. I wish I felt the same way. But I suppose no good can come from wallowing. The city needs you now more than ever. I'll, uh, leave you to it, then. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. Oh, wow. I have to get down there. Now. Let's go! We're just about to get into some... Crazy ish right now. Yeah, I, I, I'm not really feeling this bat, this Batman vehicle right now. As well, it looks kind of weird. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you actually. Something's come up. Something that's what. Well, Harvey, listen to me. Your life is in danger. Because of Penguin and his thugs? Thanks, but there is an army of security here. <clears throat> they have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. It's not overkill, Harvey. It's a real... Please. I need to get this off my chest. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. What? Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good... I, I get it. It's the smart move, but let's talk I understand. about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. I think that Harvey is a part of the problem. Here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, 
I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. Of course, forget it. Of course, forget it. I don't know if this guy's good or not. Ah, oh, fine, of course. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. Harvey. Oh, wait, oh, damn. Ah, oh, damn. I think Harvey was actually good. Damn, I kind of feel like an asshole now because I, I I made this guy swing and yeah, kiss Catwoman. Right so His Harvey seems so sketch. Like he was a part of the bad Just guys. So Another is he gonna die? You and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence it, it can't go on. Most of the GCPD already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. I'm sorry for putting you in a difficult spot, Jim. I value our working relationship. So do I, Batman. That's why I need you to rein it in. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? I trust her. You're gonna drag out that dead horse? I think she's mending her ways. Oh, he's right, Lieutenant. I don't do the bad things anymore. Unless it's on request. Uh, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Yeah, there's hope for Do you yet, right Catwoman. Thing. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates. Oh, wow. See, this is what happens when you, when you don't listen to your boy say that you're in danger. This is what, exactly what happens. <laughs> if I was Harvey and I had a, my billionaire friend telling me to get the heck out of there, someone's coming after me, I'm gone. <laughs> First off, how did he even get the information to know that that was going to happen? He's a billionaire. I'm out. <laughs> We know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, God so damn sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Oh. This guy went mad. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, 
This guy went mad. Their chances. Uh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. This is going to be messy, man. Inevitable. It's only a question of how many. Inspiring. You really know how to pep a girl up. <gasps> You'll do. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Keep it quiet back there. He's got Look at this. Look at this bootleg Hulk guy. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. <laughs> Thank you for Wait. volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. Huh. Oh. There we go. Okay, cool. So then this guy. Probably link that to this. See, this, this side is cool, but it would have been cool if I could have just fought them on my own. It would have been really cool if I could have just fought them on my own. Kind of like, um, uh, uh, Salem, Arkham Asylum. Ooh, oh my gosh. Brutal. Ooh. I swear, no mercy for them, man. Batman's ruthless, bro. <coughs> Did he really just stomp on the man's head like that? Yeah, we're here. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. I tell them all, brothers and sisters of color. Who the heck is this? We are the children of Arkham. We children of Arkham? A grown ass man in a skull helmet. Okay, but then again, Batman's a grown ass man in a bat suit. <laughs> uh. This is spiraling out of control. They have no idea about the man behind the mask. Whoever it is, they're smart. Let someone else get their hands dirty. Go on, love. You know what to do. <clears throat> oh, no, don't do it. Oh, my gosh. Oh no. Harvey. We told you to dip, Harvey. We told you to dip. Everybody in Gotham saw that moderator get shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the people. Batman, the brass is going nuts with those two drugs on stage. Please, 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 please. 
His dad. father was dead. <laughs> Subject 9, Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we're friends. Our boys play together. You were warned, Esther. No, I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Nah, Bruce's dad was a bitch. Ooh. Yeah, get out of here, reporter girl. What? Look at this, this bootleg Hulk. Wanna be Hulk, man. Bootleg wanna be Hulk, dude. Nope, down. Nope, oh, side. X, X, X. No, 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 dodge, dodge. Let's go, X, X, dodge. Oh, in the gut. Let's go, in the, in, in the head. Let's go. Oh. Oh. That was all him. He didn't know when to stop. Uh, are you really going to off the guy? Oh, damn, Batman. So this is for her. Batman could take a hit. Yeah, but then again, Batman could take hits from Spider-Man. I mean, uh, Superman. Ooh. Ooh, that's putting that guy out for a bit. Where's your mate, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter. And you didn't even turn up. Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! Let him go. Let Dent go! And what if I do? I'll crush every bone in your body. I knew you'd say something like that. Ooh, dodge! <laughs> Oh, that was close. Damn. <laughs> Harvey or Catwoman? I'm saving Harvey. Catwoman call hold her own. I'm saving Harvey. Mr. Cat. Oh shit, she got shot! No, she gonna die? No, I know my girl can hold her own. Come on, Catwoman. Hold your fire, damn it. Where's the maniac in the mask? Damn. I lost her trust, probably. I think I lost her trust. is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. 
While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne? Lieutenant. He's lucky, you know. Could have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. Ah, oh, crap, Catwoman, yo. She needs help, yo. Damn it. But if we didn't save Harvey, would Harvey have died? You know... Oh, that's episode two. Yeah, that's episode two. We're done. Thank you so much for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this whole episode. I am going to be uploading more of these episodes. We have three more to go, I believe. And we're just going to be uploading those one after the next. Literally, just got to get some time to edit this. You guys, chill out. Hope you enjoyed and get ready for the next one. Peace.